Aww, animals. Thieving monkeys observed bartering goods for food. Ever heard of the monkey mafia? Well, hang on to your hats, because you're about to. An insanely clever troop of monkeys roaming the grounds of a temple in Bali is making its way by stealing from tourists. We know this is nothing new. It's what some monkeys are known to do. Primatologist Dr. Fanny Brockhorn of the University of Liege in Belgium has been following a population of long-tailed macaques at Uluwatu Temple for several years, and her findings are helping us understand the whole monkey-see, monkey-do behavior in unprecedented light. Throughout a four-month-long study conducted in 2010 and published in the journal Primates this past May, Dr. Brockhorn and her team noticed this particular group of monkeys robbing tourists of everything from hats, glasses, and jewelry to cameras, cell phones, flip-flops, and even a wad of cash from a ticket booth. The value of these items to them? Bartering chips. In efforts to retrieve the items, tourists and temple staff were presented with a choice. Offer up attractive food in exchange for the return of the stolen goods, or say goodbye to them for good. Apparently, these monkeys weren't willing to hand over the tourist's precious belongings for just any old piece of fruit. They were often seen tossing unfavorable morsels to the ground, only letting go of the pinched possessions when they were offered something they really fancied or deemed worthy of trade. What's fascinating is this behavior appears to be unique to this group, not seen in other populations with similar environmental conditions. The monkeys who spent the most time around tourists were also the ones who pulled off the most heists. The researchers concluded the monkeys likely learned the behaviors by watching each other's success, then imparted the knowledge to their young and in effect spread a survival advantage throughout their culture. Their communal development here tips us off to their cognitive abilities when it comes to sharing information, planning ahead, and understanding the power of their decisions. According to new scientists, the researchers say bartering and trading skills are not well known in animals and are usually defined as exclusive to humans. Between four troops observed, 172 monkey thefts were recorded, with more than half resulting in successful bartering transactions. Following the initial sample of research, Dr. Brockhorn compiled further observations from watching a fifth group of macaques who'd migrated over to the same area and managed to pick up the thieving and ransom holding skills as well. The doctor herself admitted she too nearly fell victim to them, the primates often getting close to snatching her research data on several occasions. Be you tourist, scientist, staff member, or monk, let it be known from here on out. At Uluwatu Temple, no one is safe from the dirty dealings of this unsuspecting syndicate. And you understand? No one. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Monkeys are known to get into all kinds of mischief. Monkey hijacks passenger bus and goes on hilarious joyride. Boy, oh boy, do we wish this was actually a photo of the badass monkey that stole and crashed a passenger bus in northern India on Monday. But sadly, it's just a representative photo. The story's still epic, though. And here's a quick rundown of what happened. A driver, dozing off in the back of his bus in the city of Borelli, failed to notice a monkey sneaking in. The city's reportedly been having a bit of a monkey problem, but this little primate definitely took things to another level. The monkey somehow managed to start the bus's engine, and by the time the driver noticed something was up, it was already too late. He tried to chase away the creature, but scared it, causing the panicked monkey to accidentally shift the vehicle into second gear. And the poor driver could only helplessly watch as his vehicle crashed into two other parked buses. Luckily though, no bystanders were injured, but local police have yet to issue a warrant for the arrest of the joyriding monkey. Rum guzzling monkey steals knife and heads to Brazil rooftop. What's happening here is exactly what it looks like. A monkey wielding a 12-inch blade on top of a roof. The scene took place on February 5th, when the capuchin snuck into a local bar and helped himself to some leftover rum. The monkey is said to live nearby the bar and was known to locals, who reported he was being quite friendly until he got his hands on the knife. That's when he got a little stabby. Authorities called to the scene reported he was chasing men around the room with the knife. He soon took to the rooftop to continue terrorizing the neighborhood from above. After several failed attempts to reason with him, the fire department was able to capture the monkey. They released him to a nearby environmental reserve, but he had to be removed from there as well after threatening some local children. 
The authorities are now deciding if this little menace can be re-released again, or if he must live in captivity under close surveillance. We're no experts, but judging from his antics this week, he seems like he may have a bit of a drinking problem. French Police Taser Chocolate Crazed Monkey A Barbary macaque, an endangered primate, was tased and detained by French police after causing trouble in Marseille. Investigators said the monkey was apparently being kept illegally before it was abandoned. It had been subsisting on a diet of kinder chocolates given to it by children. But it reportedly scratched and hurt the kids in an elementary school. Police received more than a dozen calls in the past few weeks. But the monkey always managed to flee the scene before the officers arrived. On Tuesday, a patrol was sent to capture the monkey and managed to subdue it with a taser after a cop was bitten on the hand. The monkey was sent to the Saint-Étienne Animal Protection Association and is in good condition. It will be sent to a zoo after a quarantine. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. PETA sues photographer for using monkey selfie taken by macaque. British nature photographer David J. Slater is being sued by PETA, or People for the Ethical Treatment of Animals, an animal rights activist nonprofit organization. The lawsuit claims that this picture of Naruto the monkey, entitled Monkey Selfie, should be copyrighted by the monkey who took it, not Slater. Slater wrote in his book, Wildlife Personalities, the recognition that animals have personality and should be granted rights to dignity and property would be a great thing. But maybe he spoke too soon. PETA's lawsuit was filed yesterday in San Francisco against Slater, his company Wildlife Personalities Limited, and the publisher of the book, Blurb Incorporated. The plaintiff is named as Naruto, the crested macaque monkey. But since he's just a monkey and can't actually own copyright or intellectual property, PETA and their lawyers are taking responsibility for representing Naruto's legal interests, which include naming Naruto the author and copyright owner of the photos and being paid damages from the sale of the photo. Back in 2014, when Wikipedia claimed that the monkey selfie photo was free for public use, Slater said the photo legally belonged to him and ordered Wikimedia Commons to take it down. The Wikimedia Foundation tried to say that since the monkey's paws pressed the button that took the photo, Slater couldn't claim copyright on it, citing US copyright law, including precedent cases like elephants who paint pictures. 